Mavis works at Anlo Pecuario, or Park Pecuario as it's commonly known, beyond Thomas's branch line. She brings trucks of heavy stone from the quarry all the way towards the top station in Parkwa, where Percy and Toby deliver the stone to the harbour. Years ago, Mavis wasn't allowed to leave the quarry at all, and she had grown restless about it. But after saving Toby from the raging torrent, she is allowed as far as the top station on occasions. But sometimes she dreams of being on the main line and see all the different sights of Sodor. Morning Mavis, we've got some shunting to do. We've got to deliver Percy's trucks and then shunt some more inside for the morning goods today. Just like every day, she sighed sadly. What's the matter, old girl? I've dreamed to see more of the main line. The last time I did that was 19 years ago for the thin clergyman's book's golden anniversary. It gets boring here too, and lonely as well. Well, we can't always get what we want, Mavis, but we can dream. But Mavis sighed and she rolled away to shunt some trucks. Board, board. Bored, she ranted. I wish I could go beyond the top station on my own. She said it to herself, but the troublesome trucks heard the whole thing. Later that day, she shunted more loaded trucks ready for Percy to take for the morning goods. When we get to the top station, I'll give the word, whispered the leader truck. The other trucks sniggered. She was near the top station when, now, the trucks bumped Mavis hard and it made her driver fell out of her cab and the guard of his brake van. Come back, yelled her driver, but well, logically Mavis couldn't. Stop pushing you trucks, your dreams are coming true Mavis, off to the main line. What's going on? Mavis is not stopping. Just then, Mavis's driver and guard told Percy's crew the problem. Then after the turn of the station master, they made their way to catch Mavis.
Station Master reported to control about Mavis and the Runaway. Meanwhile, Mavis raced along the branch line. All traffic was halted and points were switched to avoid accidents. Although she couldn't stop on her own, Mavis shouted, Help! Help! Somebody, please! But the truck still surged forward and laughed. She raced over the bridge and rattled over the points onto the main line. But Mavis didn't have time to marvel the countryside. Percy was growing tired as they near the junction. I need... a rest, he panted. Sorry, Percy, but we can't, said his driver. Mavis is in trouble. Oh, <sighs> right, he gasped. At the big station, Stanley was ordered to shunt trucks around the third platform. He was a bit puzzled. What do we need these for? These trucks are needed for a stopping barrier. Mavis is a runaway. Oh no! I'll be getting out of the way then. As Stanley popped out of the way, Mavis came rolling through. Help! Then she saw the trucks ahead. Oh no, I'm going to crash! But then she felt herself going slower and slower until she came to a complete stop. Oh, I ran out of fuel. Luckily no one's hurt. Then Percy teetered into view, puffing from exhaustion. I'm sorry for you to chase after me, Percy, said Mavis apologetically. Hish. All right. Mavis, the best thing is, you're safe, and that's what matters. Then Toby puffed into the station some empty trucks for the quarry. Hello Mavis, hello Percy, what are you two doing here? The two engines then told Toby about their escapade. Well Mavis, I guess you learned a lesson. Indeed, I have. Be careful what you wish for. On the way home, Toby pulled the two engines along Thomas's branch line. Percy was given a rest, and at the quarry, Mavis was refueled. Her manager had heard about the incident, but he knew it wasn't Mavis's fault. Now on occasions when either Toby or Percy are ill or busy, Mavis takes the trucks to the big harbour under the approval of her manager and the fat controller.